What is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King John 34, and hopefully, you guys are having a great day today since it's February the 14th. I'm pretty sure some of you guys are getting fat because of chocolate. If it's not fat, then I pretty much have some bad news for you guys. Start saving up some money. But, anyways, moving on to the main topic of today, there's a rumor going around in the Call of Duty community that supposedly Activision and the Call of Duty franchise are going to be rebooting the whole Modern Warfare series. And I know, I know, much of the old school Call of Duty veterans are going to be upset over this because, you know, oh my god, it's going to tarnish the legacy. There's not going to be any ghost character because, you know, what you guys know what rebooting is. They're going to redo the whole story. That means no ghost character, no freaking, uh, no Russian left behind, no sniping on the freaking grasslands and Modern Warfare 2 and Call of Duty 4, you know, no, none of that. It's all going to be rebooted. So everybody's going to miss that whole section because they're going to redo the whole story and, you know, it's going to be totally new. And what do I think about the situation? In my opinion, I think it's a good idea. Despite playing all three story modes for the Modern Warfare 3 series, Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 1, which is Call of Duty 4, after playing all the three stories, I'm telling you, I think that it does really need a reboot. Because, you know, we're currently in the PS4 you know, generation, the PS4 and the Xbox One. It deserves a reboot, just like GTA 5. They rebooted the whole damn story because we're currently on next gen. There's no freaking Cloud. There's no freaking Carl Johnson in GTA 5. And they're redoing the whole damn series. It's like, th that's a reboot right there. We got no story of behind Carl Johnson in GTA 5. So redoing the whole damn story on pretty much on PS4 and the Xbox One could actually be a good idea. And in some of my predictions, I'll say that uh, maybe the, the way they're going to redo it in the story, though, is because, you know, we currently have like Donald Trump. We got like Barack Obama. We got certain events going on, like freaking building the wall between Mexico and, and the U.S. We might get like a map between Mexico and the U.S., which would not be bad at all. It's going to be very creative, to be honest, um, since we got like a lot of new modern events. Those events have to be in the fucking game. Like, it has to be. Donald Trump, it has to be in the fucking game. Well, Barack Obama leaving office, Hillary Clinton, there might be a corrupt politician running the country down and pretty much starts World War Three, and it's going to be some guy in a fucking wig. Like, it's going to be amazing. I'm telling you, it's not that bad rebooting the damn series because there's going to be a lot of modern events going on right now that are going to be in the fucking game. It's not a bad idea. Even though it's scary that it might actually predict the future that we might actually go into World War Three, but you know, it's I guess it could be still fun. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, but yeah, that's that's my prediction of what's gonna happen if they were to reboot the series. You know, the Sledgehammer Games. And by the way, Sledgehammer Games rebooting the series is not a bad idea because you know they came out from Infinity Ward. If you guys do remember Modern Warfare 3 was made by both companies Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer Games, which is not bad because Modern Warfare 3 did sell a lot of games. And I know it was a kind of a copy and paste for Modern Warfare 2 and Call of Duty 4. It was still a great game. I had a lot of fun in that game, especially in Call of Duty Elite. If you guys didn't have Call of Duty Elite, you were not able you were, you were not able to join a clan at all. So hopefully they do bring that back because I do miss Call of Duty Elite. That's what, those are my thoughts, people. Those are my thoughts if they were to reboot the whole series. And I know a lot of arguments are going to be starting like uh, saying like um, it's a bad idea that they shouldn't touch the Modern Warfare series. I think they should, to be honest. It's time to bring it back into the modern era. None of this World War II either because we already got Battlefield 1 for that. Why do you want to sink to the level? You go ahead of their level. Not too ahead though because then we got another Advanced Warfare 2. Wouldn't that be hilarious? Like... You know, Sledgehammer Games says, like, oh, we're going back to our roots, and they fucking release Advanced Warfare 2. They were talking about the Exorcist all along. That would be fucking hilarious and sad at the same time. It will make me cry because I had so much hope for the next game. Yeah, a total emotional wreck right there. So that is it, guys. I want to talk about today. Uh, what are your opinions about this? What is your opinion about the rebooting thing?